What's up, classmates? Do you know how to transform this sentence into this equation? Now, if you don't, stay tuned and continue to watch this video for you to be able to transform this sentence into this equation. But before that, don't forget to click the subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated on our lesson in mathematics. So let's get started! So here we are going to discuss variation and it's a love untold. So I will be discussing the four types of variation and I will relate it into a love story. So stay tuned. So here is the four types of variation. First is the direct variation or what we call the sweet love. The second one is indirect or inverse variation and this is the not so sweet love. The third variation is what we call joint variation or what I call the pinak bet love. And lastly, the combined variation or as I call it, the halo halo love affair. So what is a direct variation? So how do we know once we see something if it's already a direct variation? So we will find it out later. So this lesson, our objective, first, we are going to write the formula for direct variation. Second is we are going to solve problems involving direct variation. And the last is we are going to find out on where we can use direct variation into real life problems. So first, what do we mean by a direct variation? It means to say that as one quantity increases, the other quantity also increases. Or if one quantity decreases, the other quantity also decreases. So here are some of the examples. So example in your home, so the more electricity or the more gadgets you plug in into your electricity, it means to say that the higher the bill you are going to pay. Then, second is the farther distance that you travel, it means to say that the higher is the fare. Now, to relate direct variation with a love story, direct variation is like a sweet love. Why is it a sweet love? It's like your first month together being a couple. You don't want to be separated. So, if your lover goes to one place, you want to go together. So that is the relationship with a direct variation and the love story. So what are the clues for a direct variation? So first, there is the word varies directly. Why? Varies directly as x. Write that into a mathematical equation. First, you, you write the letter y, the equal sign, then the letter k, followed by the letter X. What is the letter K here? The letter K stands for the constant of a variation. Now, now, the second clue is the word directly proportional. If you see this word, it is still a direct variation. You will still have the same equation. Y equals to KX. And the third one is the word proportional or is proportional it also means that it is a direct variation so let us have an example on how to write the formula for a direct variation so here we have the word the fare f of a passenger varies directly as the distance d of his destination in solving direct variation you just have to simply find the important words so we are going to eliminate the unnecessary words so erase this one erase this and this and this so basically the word is just saying f varies directly as d in formula so that's f equals to k d so the cost c of fish varies directly as its weight w in kilograms so again eliminate the non-important words 
find the important words which is C varies directly to W. If we are going to write a formula that is just C equals K. W. And last example will be an employee's salary S varies directly as the number of days D he has worked. So eliminating the non-important words, so we will have S varies directly to D. So in formula, that is S equals to K D. Another example. So you have two tables, your x and your y. So as you notice, the value of our x is increasing and the value of our y is also increasing. So therefore, from the definition of a direct variation, we can say that this example is a direct variation. Now let us try to solve its constant of variation. So, since this is a direct variation, we will have the formula y equal to kx. So, we will find out what is the value of our k. So, to find that, we simply divide both sides by x so that what will remain on the other side is just the letter k. So, we will have cancel the x. So, we will have k here. So, we we'll write k and we will write y over X. To find the value of our k, let us just find an ordered pair. So we'll use 12 and 6. So your y is 12, your x is 6. Divide 12 by 6, so you will have 2. So let's try another pair, 14 and 7. So if you divide 14 and 7, the answer is still 2. And let's try the other one, 16 divided by 8. And that is still 2. So as you notice, our constant of variation does not change. They are the same. So that is why they are called constant of variation because it will not change. So the purpose of finding our constant of variation is for us to be able to solve what if we are given the value of our x to be 100 and we are going to find the value of our y. So we can just use this equation. So from y equal to kx, so your k will just be replaced by 2. So this is now your general equation. So whatever value you put to your x, you will be able to solve your y. So that's going to graph your y equal to 2x. So you will have a slant straight line. So a direct variation will always have a straight slanting line. Let's have now our solving. So our first ordered pair will be y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 2. The second ordered pair, we don't know what is our y and our x is 6. So using the formula y is equal to kx, we are going first to solve our constant. So using 4 and 2, so substituting 4 for y and x for 2, then we are going to divide both sides by 2. After that, so if you are going to divide 4 divided by 2, your constant of variation is equal to 2. So we can now use our general equation. A will be replaced by 2 and x now will be replaced by 6. So therefore, our y is equal to 12. Let us now have a word problem. The cost of pizza varies directly as the square of its radius. Now, if a pizza with a 6 inches radius costs 540 pesos, how much should a pizza with an 11 inch radius cost? So, first thing to identify here is the important word. So, the cost of pizza varies directly as the square of radius. We will assign a letter for our important words. So the first one is we let C will be the cost or the price for our pizza. And we let R 
B hour radius. Now, from the formula, the cost of pizza, so C equals to K, then it says here square of its radius. So we will have R squared. Next, it states on the second sentence that a pizza with a 6 inch radius cost 540 pesos. So we will have our given. So let R be 6 inches and C will be 540 pesos. Then the next statement says how much, so we are asking for the price of the 11 inch radius pizza. So, let, so let R be equal to 11 inches and let C will be no, because that is what we are looking for. First, we are going to find our constant of variation. So from the formula, we are going to replace first our C by 540 and our R by 6. So multiplying 6 times 6, that will give us 36. And dividing both sides by 36, so our constant now will become 15. So this 15 we are going to use in our formula. So we will have C equals to KR squared. So we will have 15 times 11 because the new radius is 11. 11 times 11 will be 121 times 15. So the answer is 1,815 pesos for an 11 inch pizza. Now, since we already know how to solve a direct variation problem, here are some of the exercises for you to practice. So you can write your answer in any sheet of paper. Now for the number 6 up to 10, you are going to write the formula for the direct variation. So here we have a word problem and it is equivalent to 10 points. And the point system will be as follows. One point for assigning the correct uh, the letters to the problem. Another point for identify what are the given. And another point for writing the correct formula. Then three points for solving the constant of variation. And four points for solving what is asked in the problem. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated on our next video. Until next time, peace!